We are talking trivia about episode four, Conduit. Ruby's mother, Darlene Morris, is played by Carrie Snodgrass. She was nominated for an Academy Award for a role in the film Diary of a Mad Housewife. And she did a ton of work on stage and television. She had a child with former partner Neil Young, who said he wrote several songs about her, including Heart of Gold and A Man Needs a Maid. As Scully is looking through the X-File on Samantha Mulder, we see the address 2790 Vine Street. That was the address of the show's production office in Vancouver. What makes this case any more credible than the 100-year-old mother with the lizard baby? This, of course, is a reference to the Weekly World News, a now defunct but famous tabloid that ran with the most absurd stories and entirely fictional tales that got progressively more ironic, satirical, and comedic over time. Ransom note, and since we didn't turn up a body. Would you assume she ran away? Well, it wouldn't be the first time Ruby Morris ran away from home. Well, how do you explain what her mother saw? The sheriff is played by longtime character actor Michael Cavanaugh who seems to have been on nearly every American television show at least once in the 80s and early 90s. I don't understand. All information can be rendered digitally in a series of ones and zeros. When we downloaded the data, we found an amazing range of, well, see for yourself. So this binary data Kevin Morris is accessing through television static appears to me to be the Voyager Golden Record. These were sent via the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft in 1977. It includes music, messages from important people like Jimmy Carter and Carl Sagan, a variety of animal sounds, and a lot of information about humans, Earth and our solar system. Now for your information, according to NASA, Voyager 1 is about 15.1 billion miles from Earth right now. According to the police photos, Ruby and Kevin were sleeping right here. Just a stone's throw from the forest wall. Meaning what? What you're actually seeing is Lake Bunsen, a lake a little bit north of Vancouver. Lake Okoboji is a real place in northwestern Iowa. There's an East Lake, a West Lake, and Big Spirit Lake. Big Spirit Lake was named for a Sioux legend that the lake is inhabited by an evil spirit. The doctor's appointment reminder is scheduled for August 7th, which, mark your calendars, just happens to be David Duchovny's birthday. Now you've waived the right to an attorney, so if you lie to us here today, you could be charged with perjury. Tessa is played by Shelley Owens, the sister of Chris Owens who you longtime X-Files fans will know as Agent Jeffrey Spender. He'll appear in later seasons. It's her. It's Ruby. This whole multi-page binary image took the show's art directors almost a week of continuous work to produce, and they managed to finish it just in time to be included in the episode. Scully is listening to Mulder's hypnotic regression sessions. Dana is developing a sense that Mulder is not entirely a crank. However, hypnotic regression therapy is of highly questionable validity. 
and has often led subjects to create entirely false memories. It's also particularly well known for being used to recall past lives. An interesting coincidence is that nearly everyone's past life included being someone very important or quite famous. That's it. That's Conduit Trivia. Next episode is The Jersey Devil. <laughs>